What's going on everybody? Garnet's here again and I have a question that I'm going to answer and it has to do with creating smooth grooves. And all you need are three things. You just need a melody, you need some chords, and you need a nice beat to rock with. First, you're going to start off with a simple melody line. I'm going to be in the key of E flat. So the melody line is going to be really simple. It's going to be Now we're going to add the chords. This is where it gets fun because the more chords you know, the more options you have and the farther out you can go in terms of your sounds and harmony. We're going to be in the key of E flat and the progression I'm going to use is a 2 5 1 7 3 6 progression. So in the key of E flat I'm going to start on the 2 which is F and then the 5 which is B flat and I'll go to the 1 which is E flat and then I'm going to go to the 7 which is D, then 3, which is G, and then the 6, which is C. So I'm going to add these chords. So it's F minor, 7, B flat, dominant 7, E flat major 7. Minor seven, G seven, C minor seven. Now those are the chords, but we're not going to stop there because we want to add that melody to those chords. So keeping the melody in these chords is what's going to make the groove work. So it's very important that you have the melody on top and that it's clear. Again, here's the melody. Now for this to work, each melody note is going to have a chord attached to it. So on the G, I have the two chord, which is F minor 7, and then on the next chord, I'm going to have G, which is going to be a B flat dominant 7 chord, and then I'm going to go to E flat major. Melody notes still on the top, and then I'm going to play that line there, and then go here to the seven, which is D minor seven chord. Then I'm going to go to a G dominant seven chord with a sharp five, and then I'm going to play a C minor nine chord, and then I'm going to play the line again to go back to the top of the chord progression. Now what I did there was I decided not to play the G7 sharp 5. I ended up playing the, the G7 4 with a flat 9. The key to Making this progression fun is knowing what chords you have and knowing what chords you can play with those melody notes involved. As you noticed in the beginning, I just play When I did the walk up there, I didn't put any chords with that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to incorporate some chords. That's that line with the chords attached to it. Now, if I'm playing this groove with the bass player, I'm going to make sure that I'm not playing in the same register as the bass player because I don't want to clash with them. So what I do is I end up doing something called rootless voicings. So it's like I'm playing the notes that are in the chord, but I'm just keeping the root out of it because the bass player has that covered. So this is what I will play 
if I had a bass player. play if I had a bass player. The cool thing about having a bass player is that now I can go outside the box and add different harmonies and change notes here and there because the bass already has that covered. So I could do something like this. So notice how after a while I start to experiment and go outside the box a little bit and add different notes and color tones and stuff. So having a bass player is very liberating because you can explore. I would like to thank everybody for checking out this video today. Uh, it was really fun making this video. I love showing whatever I know and helping other musicians get better. And I'm also learning in the process as well too. You know, when you teach, you learn twice. So please press the subscribe button. Please press the notification button so whenever a new video drops, you'll be the first one to know. Um, and share this video with your friends. And I hope that this video has been very helpful to you. And as an added bonus, I'm going to add this groove at the end of this video so you can check it out and, you know, all the full orchestrations and stuff. Happy practicing and uh, keep on the journey, man.